Hi everyone, here we are, back in the shed after the heat wave that we have had down here. Far too hot to do filming in the shed. Anyway, on this little episode I thought we'd look at these two ballasts. Now these two ballasts, the most easiest ones to wire, um, all compact, very popular ballast, um, made by all different kinds of uh, companies. Actually, it's one basic ballast and they just put their stickers on it. So here we have a, a Siemens and a Transtar. Now, most of these wire up mostly the same. They have the igniter inside. However, this one here that I found out is tapped differently to this one. Not only is the taps higher there, the taps are lower down on there as well. Both 35 or 55 watt socks lamps, these were power. And if I just tip them up, you can see the numbers. If you look at the number, let me get a, just to point it out, because we don't like fingers in the video. Some people don't like fingers. You can see the numbers on this one. The wiring numbers are different to the ones on here yes so it confused me when I first got this one because it had an external igniter connected to it and it looked as if it was <laughs> bridging on the power supply in so always worth with these ballasts just checking out the numbers so this one goes one two three four five and this one goes five four three two one it goes backwards so it's basically the same but it's just reversed round and most of these ones that I get are uh, wired inside eternally the same as the Siemens and but this Transtar quite a different kettle of fish altogether okay so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can fire this one up and I'll show you how to wire this one as well if you're following along you do so at your own risk so we'll just move this one out of the way this Siemens ballast we'll put that at the side there so what we got then right let's start with the power in let's just it's got a few cobwebs on there so the power in very good so on this one it tells you at the top there if i can get it near with the camera can I get it near the camera there we go right so power in 240 to 50 haze one to two so it would be these two there so what we would do they so say this is the power we're going to see if we can fire a lamp up on this so what we should do is we shall connect the power to this Right, okay. No, it's got an earthing thing on the side as well. Um, when we do all uh, lighting, always put an earth on. Um, I uh, sometimes don't use an earth if I'm just demonstrating because we know not to touch the ballast. So what we're doing at the moment, we're putting the mains power in. So this will be what will be coming into the column. And this is how easy these ones are. There we go, just get that one in there. Sometimes these screws in the top aren't very uh, cooperative and I'm doing this back to front for the camera. <laughs> so it's a little bit different for me because I can't actually see what's going in there. But there we go, right, let's get that one in there like that. There we go. As long as it holds in, and we're getting no arcing. Is that gripped to that? Yeah, that's gripped that okay. Right, we'll just put that down there like that out of the way. Because the other end of that has got a plug on, so we can plug it in. So then we've got is the neutral on two and the live on one there. So what we're going to be firing on this one, we're going to be firing up a 55 watt socks. So we need now then to put to read this again on here and for a 55 watt socks which is there 55 watt socks the numbers are three and five so this is our lamp holder that we're going to put the socks uh, lantern into doesn't matter which way these wires go around and um, some of them have just got the same color cabling on them so it, it doesn't matter it's not you know it's no big deal which way you put them around so what we'll do is we'll put the white uh, let's put the right into let's say the right is the live so live up to lamp there 
well, live or just lamp. So we put it in number three because as it says on the ballast, number five and number three is for when you run a 55 watt socks. And for 35 watt socks, it's four and five. So basically these two together for a 35 and this one and this one for 55, okay? And this is a booty about these ballasts. These, these are so easy because although they've got the, the uh, igniter inside, not always that the igniter works in these, but I'll tell you about that in a sec. Let's just get this fired up and see what we can do with it. Okay, right, so we've got that there. Just put that down there a minute. Okay, so what we need next is a sodium lamp. Here, 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 and here, and here we here, 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 here we have a 55 watt socks. Making a bit of a weird noise, this one. Take the cover off. 55 watt socks lamp. There we go. Phillips. Look at the, you see that on there, Phillips. 55 socks, is that showing up on there? Just about, you can see just about the etching. And we will put this into this one here. So, right, so we can see now how we've got it configured. Actually, I could just trap the earth underneath there. So, there we go. Now, this is a moment of truth. Now, if it lights, it means that the 55 watt side with the igniter in this is good. Um, however, sometimes on these, on the 35 watt, when the um, lamp is actually um, blown, it's not working, it does tend to burn igniters out. So that's when we start to use these, and we just link these between the, between the two terminals of the lamp. This is an a, uh, external igniter, this is what we use, and can be used with these so you don't waste the, the actual ballast, so that's a good... That's, that's a good thing to remember that you can always put an inline external igniter with these. So this one is rated at 35 watts. So you need to have a 55 watt if you're doing 55 watt too. Now, knowing the history of this ballast, this has been for a long, long, long time uh, been powering a 35 watt. So the 55 watt tap on this has never been used. So hopefully it will fire the lamp. But we'll have a look and see. How we get on with it so let's plug in and see if it will fire which hopefully it will so here we go now obviously the whole thing is not firing because it does need any kind of balance it has been damaged in some way so it should be working but we're not working, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so this should be working on there. Um, to get it to work, we should really need to put this. We we'll need to put this in, but we can't put this in because I haven't got a 55 watt. Actually, just a minute. I think I have got a 55 watt igniter. I think I've got one. No, it turns out I haven't, so we can't actually demonstrate this, but normally that would um, normally that would fire up and we'd see a nice nice tube. But there we go, so let's unplug it just to make sure. And we haven't got this correct, yes. So there you go folks, so that's a, com a, a good example of the common problem with these ballasts with that on there. Um, we might see if we can just quickly, if we've got time, just undo this one. And we'll swap the ballast over. And what we'll do is we'll put, we'll just try the Siemens on there. I think I've got about 13 minutes time on this particular um, uh, <laughs> car that I've got in the camber. Right, let's take all this out. Let's swap it over. And... Uh, see if we can get the Siemens one to fire this up. So we know now that this is going to require an external igniter. So we know this is basically igniters are, 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 are put on this. 
so that one can go over there. So then, let's wire the Siemens up. Again, different wiring diagram on there. But, we should be okay with this one. So on this particular one, the actual power in is there, which is the 35, which is the 55 watt tap. So we have power in on the 55 watt side. Note there, I nearly put the neutral in, which is a no-no. So that is the tap there for the 55 watt socks that we've got at the side here. And then what we do is we put the neutral into the middle one which is number three remember it's reversed differently on these ones compared to the one we just had and then four and five in the end here simply just four yeah this goes in there like that and does up i love these ballasts they're the most easiest ones to do do a video on the other kind of ballast where you have to have a different um you know you only have to have an, an external and it's all kinds of ballast you know what i mean anyway right so we've got that in there we've got that in there and we've got that in there so it's pound 55. so let's see if we have life out of this one do, do, do. get the plug in if i can Oh, pins were a bit gone on the plug. Anyway, let's see. Ah, there we go. And now we can see that the sodium tube is now now lit. And I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it's a nice hum buzz on that. Now the buzzing will gradually get quiet and go away as the tube brightens up. Um, so. We know that this one is at the 55 watt side of the ballast is fine. Where that other one, we're going to require one of these. But in the 55 watt. So there we go. So basically, this is just a little video just to show you the difference between the two ballasts. They look the same, but don't get caught out because they operate a little bit different. We've also covered that if the igniter's a, a, a shot on these, we can always put a uh, external igniter. Just been away from the lamps, so this one and this one would be just put in there, just a little bit in, and it will work. So there we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, we got another suggestion actually in the comments that to do like a three-part uh, video of actually step-by-step -step restoration of a lantern, which we'll be looking into, which I think is quite a good idea. So we'll be doing that sometime and we'll get some more videos uploaded. But thanks for watching this one. If you like it, give it the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed just yet. And till then, stay safe and uh, keep your comments coming in and questions. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.